Hey guys, I want to show you how to build this demonstration for the Pythagorean theorem in GeoGebra. So I'm already on the website. We hit Start Calculator. And then next, we're going to click on Tools. And I'm going to find a Segment. Here it is right here, Segment. And I'm just going to make any old segment. And then we're going to find Perpendicular Line. So this right here. And we're going to click on our segment. And then now I can just move this back and forth. I'm going to line it up with this point A. And now I have a perpendicular line. No matter what I do, if I move around this B, that will always be perpendicular. And then next, I want to go back to segment and let's make our triangle. So we'll click here and I'm just going to click any point on here and let's connect these two points here. Now, if we go back up to move, we can look at our triangle. And because I define this as a perpendicular line, this will always be a right triangle. Then to keep things neat, I want to hide this perpendicular line. So if we click on it, we can hit here, go to settings, and here where it says show object, we'll turn that off. And then we can X out. And now we can't see the perpendicular line anymore, yet it still maintains the property. And then while we're at it, let's get rid of this grid. So no axes and no grid. Now we have our right triangle. Next, we want to make the squares off of the right triangle. We are going to find, it's not here, we need to click on more. And then we're going to go to regular polygon. And then we click here and here, and we want four vertices, which is going to give us a square. And there it is. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. Click there, click there, and then hit four. And then we'll do the same thing off this one here and here and hit OK. And then we can go back to move and center everything. And next we can get the areas. It says measure area. So if we click here on area and just click on poly one, poly two, and poly three. Now we know the areas of all these squares. And as we move these points around, the areas are going to change. Now we need to check that the area of this square plus the area of this square is equal to the area of this square. That's the a squared plus b squared equals c squared of the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to click here on algebra, and that's going to give us all the formulas. Let's click on this input, and we'll say equals poly 1. And that's the area of our larger polygon. And then for the next one, we'll hit equals poly 2 plus poly 3. And you'll notice these are identical. And as we move this around, those are still identical. Still identical, still identical. So it's not a proof, but it's a pretty cool demonstration of the Pythagorean theorem. And I feel a little bit more familiar with GeoGebra. I hope you guys do too. How exciting.